tutorial with the Pentology drawing up using the Android phone, which I have here. And the app is uh, available from the Google Play Store. You can see here, I'm going to click on it. And once clicked, we can we can come to this home page you can see here. So this is what the app looks like for uh, people who are new to this channel and haven't come to this live stream before. So typically in these daily live streams, I um, I take the opportunity of teaching you how to develop drawing skills, not necessarily the skills you may be familiar with in digital, <clears throat> but it's more the art techniques that separates, uh, you know, really outstanding artists. Like, for example, as an example, you know, someone who draws with the traditional medium, such as pencil or paper, acrylics, canvases, oils, charcoal, you name it, pastels. They, um, they set, utilize the same tools that you will have in your hands, but yet they're able to turn that into a masterful drawing or painting. And you're scratching your head thinking how they do it. Well, it's all down to art techniques. The very techniques that developed by people who understand the tools they're using and they don't necessarily just rely on tools right and uh, the tools the problem with digital is that many people are not able to draw or understand the uh, process of drawing and as a result rely heavily on the digital tools so they they're using the tools as a means to get to where they want to go rather than the art techniques so when i use art techniques i typically draw like this so i'm going to show you this one that i did yesterday on the phone you can see here but with digital tools so you'll just be again scratching your head thinking how oh, this is done you cannot do that with just digital tools alone this was done with I believe just one brush, the line brush. Okay, this was one of the live streams I did yesterday, and I was quite happy with it. Came out very well. It's done in two sittings. It's done in the same tutorial. I don't continue this story or show you bits of it. I actually do the entire drawing live, okay? So it's split between two drawing um, sessions, one in this produce channel <clears throat> and the other one in the which i will continue in less than an hour to the uh, on the paintology channel youtube channel so how do you find out what's going on well let's have a look at the um let's take a look at uh, the page that you should bookmark right away you should definitely bookmark let me show you Let's go back. I gotta find Google Chrome actually. So let's have a look here. Let's see. All right. All right, here, here we are. So go to paintology.com. Definitely bookmark this page. This paintology.com website supports the all the tutorials and all the information that you need to develop your drawing ability and increase your understanding of drawing and the tools you use not necessarily doodling and just trying to find your way around for improved drawing you could do that as well if you feel like that a lot of people like to doodle but if you want to get far you really need to focus on homing down on the techniques so okay so let's go down to this page daily step-by-step -step video tutorials the button okay click on that 
and then you'll find this page come to this page this is the youtube live stream classes and these are all the information you need to see what i'm doing and all the drawings i have done to date you can go all the way down you can see how many tutorials i've done and then you can go as far as back and see the kind of drawing that i finished for example this drawing i did on the actual phone you can see it's done in landscape mode turning the phone on its you know side and here i'll show you another one completed drawing you know the, you know this guy right this one this was drawing of the uh, you can see it's an actual drawing realistic right so these are done because of our techniques nothing to do with tools so if you're rushing to to find tools that will save the day that's wrong thinking so you're a bit you may be a beginner you may be a traditional artist and you're thinking oh, this might be a good way to uh, le apply my art techniques that i've already learned in traditional and transfer to digital and that's actually a, a good approach because that's what i did I applied all my traditional techniques to build this Pentology app. So this app is very different to what you're used to. Okay, so we have the entry at the top. The first entry is here, 11th November. I believe it's the 11th November. Yeah, it is. And then we can see here, I've changed the time. 8, 8 GMT Iguana. We're going to draw an Iguana. Very interesting, isn't it? A reptile. And we have the stream part one, part two, and then the reference image here. So this is the corner we're going to draw on the phone. So I'm going to download that image. Wonderful image, close up. You can see where all the Tyrannosaurus heads have come from, you know. This just looks like a dinosaur head, doesn't it? Anyway, so we're going to make this drawing in our session. This is the drawing we're going to do. So always come back to that if you're not sure what's happening. And the, <clears throat> and the other resources that I want you to pay attention <clears throat> to is the quorapentology.com, pentology.quora.com, sorry. And so it's pentology.quora.com, and you can see all the tutorial I've done. I've got like three, four hundred entries here. So you can browse at your leisure and find all the information you need. And there's, of course, the uh, Google Classroom, which not many people are signing up. And this is free of charge at the moment. This is for you to have a few. So there's a, if you're interested, um, I'm going to keep this free for now. This is a fully structured course. On teaching you art and most people most online classes will teach you just for a portion of these classes okay if we go to Udemy or if we go to any Skillshare or whatever they will actually charge you for just one or two classes but here you have a whole array taking you from start to finish all the way to becoming as good as me or I hopefully beyond me as well okay beyond my ability that's what I want people you know because when I when I see our P artists drawing well using the techniques that I showed them and going beyond me that really pleases me a lot I'm telling you I don't have any ego because I can share with you many other skills that I've done over my lifetime and you'd think that's not possible so this is just one of my skills uh, not showing off but just to let you know that skills can be developed by anyone who chooses to learn so that's what i want to show you so keep that bookmark please and please do visit those uh, pages again if you're serious and so we're going to start off like i said this is the it's one of the drawings that i did from my paintings these are saved areas and the video guides also has all this comes with it to teach you the basic core fundamentals really quickly excuse me 
and it shows you how you can develop these realistic learning by shading and all that and you may not understand you may think that this is not possible you'll be surprised with what you can do in digital so let's go back whoops to that All right, so we have here draw, trace image, and this is the one. That's the lovely image we're gonna actually draw. So how do we go about doing that? Remember, I'm gonna finish this drawing so you, you can watch me and follow along with me. So if you're an Android user <coughs> using an Android phone, this is perfectly fine. And I'm gonna show you that there's no gimmick to this actually draw in this mode and let's go back files my files internal storage yeah. these are all the drawings i've done and i can show you plenty to keep you to find something that will probably interest you a lot let me go through um, there it is, yeah. So this is my phone. You can see here, small device, but don't let that fool you. You will be surprised with the zoom rotate and uh, that you can make these fine drawings. And it's actually, the, this small size almost appears to be like an A4 or even an A3. I keep telling myself, I'm going to do a calculation of the zoom at 700% and then getting to the details, you know. But anyway, this is uh, the kind of drawings I've done here. This is a bear, it's the reference image. Elephant, the reference image. This is tiger. This is uh, watercolors. This is my image I drew. This is the zebra, very complex. I was really challenged to finish this in space of two hours. Uh, not two hours, because I talk, you know, I'm, talking, verbalizing about half an hour, you know, so it's one and a half hours, and I'll show you what I did. This is my drawing. Pretty impressive, isn't it? So, so the drawing, as you know, is done in trace mode, okay? And you may think, oh, that's it. I'm out of here, man. It is cheating or whatever. Now, don't be, a f don't be so foolish, please, because this is what actually multiplies your skills in drawing 100 times over if you become faster why do you think just check out my freehand drawings how do you think i achieve that level of detail it's because i train this way and that's why i'm showing you this this is to show you how to learn to get good at drawing really fast so the trace method has been around for years. Trace paper, then there has been the camera obscura. It's all this, the artists you probably heard in history have used it to improve their skill. Picasso, Rembrandt, not, I don't know about obscura was around then, but then, uh, you know, Van Gogh, you think about it, all the people, Cezanne, Monet, they've all used it. And they've used it to refine their skills of perspection, tone understanding, understanding of tone, understanding of improving their drawing strokes. And, you know, if they had this, believe me, if they had this digital technique, which I'm going to show you, they would pop out of their graves and start reinventing themselves. Trust me. Because this is how good this is. Okay, so how do you go about doing this? Well, first of all, I'm going to actually show you how to get comfortable with it. I'm trying to show people who've got no drawing experience or have little and still feel uncomfortable in drawing. So let me, first of all, pick a brush line. All right, and then let me take that to density. Don't worry about that. And I got this black color here. So I'm gonna go in the gray down here. 
And then here, yeah, this is my drawing, okay? So I'm gonna actually so you see that one? Take it up a bit. So that's my canvas here on the bottom half, and this is the reference I made. And I'll show you this as powerful techniques for understanding how to get those perspective or the tone. But first of all, let's do this. Let's let's do this outline quickly, okay? I want you to do this outline very quickly. So I did an outline of a of another iguana yesterday and I found it so interesting and and I thought you guys should do it as well. This will help you to get comfortable with the image that you're going to draw, okay? So really rapidly go here. Yeah, don't worry about my speed. Just remember this is on video, which means it will be available to you even after I've finished. Okay, this is not one time. So this really helps you to understand the shapes, form, and get really good at the drawing strokes. Uh, you don't this because you're using one brush you feel where you should put this cursor so you can see the outline you feel wherever it's necessary okay so i'm just going to get a shape of what's going on here let's do its mouth here uh, and then let's Draw its eyes. You see, it's very detailed eyes. Remember, we're going to try and make a drawing similar, but not to realism. I mean, not to photorealistic. I could, I know I can make this drawing photorealistic if I wanted to, but I need more, a little bit more time. How many people do you know can make a photorealistic in two, three hours? Three hours. That will take me three hours to make this. To do this drawing photorealistic with no tools, no edit tools. If you want to challenge me, you know, do write on the comments. Challenge me to a photograph that you want me to draw photorealistically. If there's enough interest, I will, you know. But you need to generate enough interest. Because I'm not just going to do it for the sake of doing it. I'm, I'm more interested in showing you techniques. You know, let's see what we've got here. Look at that. Look how quickly we did that, right? Wonderful, isn't it? This one here, these are all. And this is part of its body as well, I believe. And that's its leg. Can you see it? So it's, the drawing in gives you a sense of the shape and form doing a line drawing like this yeah and then you can carry on doing a more line drawing just to show you what I did all right so just to show you then you might you'll be interested to know that I made an interesting drawing very similar to that to this let's open this up this is what I did yesterday when I was sitting down this is the actual believe that's an iguana as well, not a chameleon. And this is what I drew, yeah, on the phone here. Isn't that lovely? How long, how long did that take me? I would say about uh, 35, 40 minutes maybe. It was like you get lost in the moment, trust me. You just get lost in the moment when you draw. I don't know why many people don't want to draw. That's why I'm encouraging people to draw instead of just being giving Facebook all the time in the world. I mean, come on, please be creative. We, have, we live in a creative world where there's creative minds. Our mind was given for creativity, not not to be lazy. We were, we were born to lead or born to do something with our own lives. And this will help you to get lost in the moment and from the hustle and bustle of the world, yeah?
So this line drawing is super easy. I'll just show you how, how it's done. Okay, so let's go back to the drawing. What's the next step? Because I've only got, I've only got like, uh, you know, I've got four, half an hour to do my first half of this drawing. So I'm going to do this. I'm not going to worry about the background. Yeah, that background is not important to me. So I'm not going to do that. That will save time. I'm going to use the block coloring. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go through block coloring and you don't need, so this, you don't need any experience whatsoever. Okay, so first, I would, let's see if I'm going to use the line brush or any other brush. Let me see. You know, the, I'm not using a line brush for the sake of making this dry. I'm picking a line brush that I will feel that will offer some kind of texture or whatever. If I wanted it, I could perfectly fine with with the uh, with the line brush that I have and all the shade. These are the two most common brushes I use. So let's go for hazy dark. Okay, hazy dark. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, pick a good size. Leave that. You don't have to worry about that right now. And let's go here and just put down. See that just put down the colors that you see okay so i've got this at the halfway point here this is really important that you do this this really will help you to see i'm picking the color color picker and i'm basically just I'm always looking for new ways to improve the techniques, just like the yesterday's when I drew that wonderful snow, you know, snow woody scene. I was quite pleased with that because I used a different approach. So color picker and then just, in fact, I might take it down. So this is what I have, 9.8.9%. 100%. So it's not like, oh, it's, this is, a, you have to guess what I'm drawing, you know, what I'm painting. But basically, I'm trying to get down all the colors that I see here, or I should say tones. Can you imagine if an artist in traditional had to do that? They'd have to, I mean, that's why I know that when they create realistic, it's very difficult for them to pick the exact tones. But yet they're able to pull it off because they practice enough. But then they have to mix the colors. We don't. We have this wonderful color picker here. Right there. Just pick these tones. This will get you to understand these tones that are working on in this. Okay. Yeah, I think I have an idea now what to do. I'm just laying down these colors. And then I'm going to put down the sort of the details that I showed you like the yeah so this is giving me a really good idea what how to go about doing this drawing so I'm going to lay down this original this is very similar to traditional when people lay down the foundational colors first you must have surely seen some of these realistic acrylic painters what they do is lay down these foundational colors all right just like I'm doing the beauty is that we don't have to mix the colors. We've got block coloring, mate. And also, we don't even have to do an outline of it. It's all taken care of. Let's see what we got here first. Let's see how quickly I've managed to do that. And I'm going to go through that really quickly. See that dark tone there? There's another dark tone. Picks up that color automatically. Isn't that wonderful? You've got to admit. With this method of painting and drawing, you, 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 you'll be able to make more drawings in a week than what would take in a pencil about uh, months. Right, so that's what I'm doing. Just laying down, and it's, this is a big, broad brush. I'm not. Focusing on the details like a hyper-realistic artist who will go down deep at pixel level. Look, we're at 300%, right? 
Now watch, if I were to go here, click on the zoom and hold on to the zoom, look how close I am to this scale. Then I could make this drawing with a tiny brush instead of 9%, tiny brush, point, right, point 0.37 even and pick a color. Look, so that I could go and spend a a week doing this drawing and it'll be hyper realistic it'll be done by your hand and no one and no one else's so where were we we were at eight eight percent i think i have to build something that goes back to the previous setting isn't it there. so let's get out of that so just to show you what hyperrealism is. So in hyperrealism, all they're doing is having a big brush size, no, big canvas, and then going minute microscopically through each tone, so then building up the tones and building. If you like that sort of thing, it's fine. But personally, me, I like to draw quickly. I could reduce that brush a bit more. So we've got time, so I could get to these scales, you know, the same scale colors. So that's what we want, isn't it? So you determine how you're going to make this painting, whatever you feel comfortable with, yeah? That's what, that's what Bob Ross used to say, didn't he? Bob, you know, the reason I like Bob Ross, because he showed art techniques, he made art look so easy. And it was all down to techniques. He didn't say it in those words, but having done art myself for a number of years now, I know what he was trying to imply. He made it want to appear simple. He wanted others to enjoy the benefits of painting. And there, there obviously there are huge benefits of painting. Let's go through this quick. Are we going over this again? Oh God, we are going to the same. Okay, but we're still getting there. All right. Okay. <laughs> Look at. You can flick between your yours by using this button here. So then you can see whether you've you're going over it again. And the whole idea is that you don't want to go over it again. So I got an idea, and I'm going to show you this idea after I've done this first pass of the doing. Okay, so be patient. That's the other thing, a quality of a good artist. To be patient and to remove your old baggage, old thinking that people know what they're talking about, especially when you talk to a beginner who's never painted or drawn in their entire lives. And they claim they know what they're talking about, you know. Don't listen to them. They will actually mis misguide you. And the way they misguide you is that they will only tell you the things they like. And not necessarily the things you like. So, you know, follow your heart, follow your passion, follow your own desire. That's all you need. That's what I do, and that's why I'm very different from many people. And that's the reason why I acquire many, many different skills, way beyond most typical people. And I don't even come from an art background, I'm a, I'm a technologist. The technology most of my life, I actually thought, I'd lost my drawing experience, can you believe it? When I first, when I attempted to get back into painting, because I enjoyed the pure passion and love, and do you know what really got me back into painting and drawing again? You don't believe this, it was actually a paint by numbers kit that I found in a local hobby. I decided to give that a try, and amazingly, all my confidence just flooded back. Because previously I was just sitting on the skirmishing, thinking I've lost it, I've got no, I've got, I just can't do any more of this. 
I don't think I have it in me. And then, and then all I did was did that just to go regain my confidence. And this might actually give you the confidence to draw. You should give it a try. It's not difficult. What's difficult about this that I'm doing? You can do that same thing. And trust me, it will. It's it's not only it's not only wonderful to do, but it's very therapeutic. It just you just get lost in the run. And then after I got that paid by numbers, that's it. I was a blooming art monster. Just got big canvases, started painting and drawing, following Bob Ross, and then. Uh, doing my own style of painting on acrylics and and that was it that was it and then everyone came and admired it made my paintings I did it in the smaller scale canvases which I loved you know creating art on a smaller scale and then it was only much later that I did it in bigger canvases when someone actually told me about this, in fact. And then uh, it's a lot of my artworks hanging on people's walls. So don't think that you're going to confine yourself in one particular area. You can draw, man. And I can speed up. You'd be surprised at how the rapid rate I can speed up here. Look, look how quickly I'm going here. Lovely getting these tones. It's just so wonderful picking these tones using the color picker. And if you can't do this, come on, surely you can do this. What's difficult about it? Uh, if you are having difficulty, just let me know. You know, I'll be happy to answer your comments. But nobody comments, all they say. Oh, wonderful, beautiful. Sorry, you know, my ego's been... My ego has been uh, well taken care of over the years. I don't need an ego boost. Anyway, so this one I'm going to... Save, yeah? Okay, then I'm going to open it. Because I'm working on a prototype, so you don't have to do this. I'm just working on a prototype of an app that we're going to release my developer has told me specifically to uh, always go in and save right and then open up the tutorial again right that's what he told me and i gotta follow them otherwise they won't be too happy will they so it's not very often you see a developer person who's developing an app is an artist as well as I don't really and so you're getting the benefits of both worlds getting someone who's teaching you putting the all the tools you need as an artist and that's what I do so let's race ahead and go get this down here yeah? oh that's super fun Super. Do you see what I've done there? I've just picked this and then I picked the color picker again. Yeah. Easy, easy peasy. If you, if you think you can't do this, but you might as well say I can't write or something. This is no different to writing, but then you've got the trace image to show you what you're Right. So once you pick that color picker and you land on this, it's the same color. So this is a bit darker there, right? And it's the same color. And we're just transferring this color to our drawing, that's all. So you go to land here, you see the honeycombed image here. We'll get to that later and I'll show you how to do this really quickly. Yeah? Just pick those tones. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to capture all the tones 
that are currently being. So we came here, didn't we? Let's have a look where we are. Oh, wow, we're getting really quick. We've got to do the around the eyes on the back here, right? So we could pick the color. Don't worry about getting the exact tone. Just pick these colors. So it's just about the right size. Don't worry about these little lines. We'll add them at the end. You know, remember we're we're doing it in steps, and we're not going to use any of these tools that you're so used to. If you think you haven't passed, yeah, just just stay here and then click on the yeah, and then you'll see the and then you'll pick up the areas that you may have not. So you've done that area. And I haven't done that area. Alright, these are all picking up these turns. And I've not done that area of the right size. I have started with a little bit of a different density, but I'll show you how this comes into play because this is see I can see that I've not done this area. See it? Yeah. So once you get used to it, you'll know what you're doing. And, and you'll be following the dark light tones. It'll really it really improves your appreciation of tones. You know, you must know tones is something which I've talked about in the art world all the time, especially in drawing and painting. Yeah, tones and values. And they try and explain that academically, but honestly, there's nothing better than actually learning tones and values for yourself by doing this. You now the tones change, same grey tone, and it's going to get lighter now again. See that? Look at the tones, three tones we got. Yeah? That's how you learn about tones in practice if you really want to know what it is. See now it's shifted into the sort of a darker reddish round tone. You know, as they say, right, there's many ways to skin a cat, as they say. I don't know what they say about but there is definitely many ways to do artwork. There's no single way. If you've seen enough of your favourite or YouTubers doing their art, no one is the same. And that's why they can't put into words what they're doing. They sort of resort to the fact that people just simply like watching them do their art rather than rather than do anything themselves, you know, it's just like watching the whole process. Probably a lot of you just like watching the whole process of what I'm doing, you know, perhaps. But it's so much more fun, I can tell you that. When you... I don't want to go into that background, see that? So I'm going to... Wow, look how 
quickly we got that, isn't it? Wonderful. So we've got a, we haven't covered this area. Yes, yeah, so we're doing really well for time. All right, so see how we did that? Quickly block coloring. That is gives you boost confidence in your ability to make good drawings. We haven't done this, so I'm going to do that. Picking the curve, notice so I've got it always just above the halfway mark. So I make sure that the colors I'm picking out the actual reference image of the uh, colors of the reference image. Yeah? Alright, so this is the white. So we don't want to lose that, do we? See the terms. Let's see what we've got here. Look at that. Was that's also respectable, isn't it, for what we did? Let's see his. Yeah. Yeah, see that? There we need a little bit more tone here. So we're going to just pick the tones. Colour picker and get the tones. All right, that's all. And then let's see. Let's see what we have. I think we did well here, isn't it? So what else can we do? Let's lay down because we've still got about five minutes. So let's let me save that and then cancel that way. Save iguana block coloring in case I need to put this up for a tree. Don't, don't worry about what I'm doing here. And so that's Iguana Block Color So now, I open it up again. You know, this is, I've been told to do that. So now let's uh, try and uh, get some things out the way. I'm going to go for these wonderful eyes. So this is where you can get your block coloring moves a little far. As a rule of thumb, always go down to half of what you picked, right? Three. Okay. And then we go still continue to use the block coloring. But you can see it's still small. So let's take it down to 2.78. See that there? Color picker. I'm picking these tones here. Yeah, and then I'm gonna pick that tone. So you'll see how this eye shapes up with this smaller brush. It's got more, it will have more detail and then you'll be like amazed. Right? You'll be thinking, wow, that's a lot more detail than what we had before. Well, obviously, because it's a smaller brush. Have you not seen a acrylic painters switch to a smaller brush when they want to apply this tiny detail? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Down here. So now you're really looking at these tones at a smaller scale. Right? And then just adding these wonderful details of the eyes. Okay. Just color pick it. Nothing difficult. Just getting the tones. And this eye, so we're just improving on this eye, and then the little bits and areas. Because since we've got time, we're gonna have to do this anyway. Right there. So smaller brush, 2.78 percent, picking these lovely little tones, adding more details because now we have a smaller brush. Okay, so we're adding another dimension of color. To this. 
because we've now got more control over this. Don't worry about these lines, they're very distinctive for this iguana, and so we're going to take care of them at the end, I believe. Yeah, but you never know, you've got to be open to possibilities. You know, sometimes you come up with ideas and say, ooh, yeah, this works for this. You'll see how quickly I've made this eye a little bit more detail compared to before. See all the... Now let's have a look, we have it on the top there. Okay, this color in here. So I zoomed in and just filled that in. Okay, let's have a look. Look at that eye detail, isn't it? It's wonderful, isn't it? Just a little bit of work and that's where we got to, right? So now what we can do is just... I'm going to add a little bit more more turns to this with that smaller brush yeah so uh, you know refine these tones that are happening at this level okay while well, we still have time actually i'm running out of time now so i'm gonna have to finish this uh, but i'm just going to to these tones give these scales a little bit more of depth and color, okay? So saving me some work, the second part. Remember, the second part of this drawing is, is the link. You'll find a link in the description. If that link doesn't work, go back to that page that I showed you. So I'll be, I'll be resuming this class at 9 a.m. sharp, giving yourself <laughs> oh, excuse me. Giving yourself like a five, ten minute break. Should be enough for getting, grabbing a cup of coffee or something like that. Because this is so much fun, isn't it? If you're not having fun, then uh, I don't know, maybe you should watch, watch a Netflix series or something. See the colored tones I'm picking up with the darker tone there, darker, and then you can see what I have. Look, see I added that brown color there. And just going add these double tones. Look at them, trying to clear away this tone that's, yeah, so I'm getting it into I think we have covered. So that's the whole idea is to practice. Let's see what we got. Because it's coming up, you may not be able to see it, but it's actually coming up in shape. So I'm going to stop here, right? And we'll resume this and add, keep on adding the more detail. And it could be a different approach, but I will. I will, of course, I will uh, see what happens as I continue to make this drawing and try and finish this drawing to a reasonable drawing level. And that will look appealing, you know, they'll say, oh yeah, that's a good drawing. It looks uh, like you've done it pencil or, or you know, colored <laughs> felt tips or whatever, right? So um, I'm going to, See surely, please do subscribe on each of the channels, you know, it helps me, keeps me supported. If you don't find the link on the description or for some reason it's not working, go back to this page, you know, this page. Go back to this page, pentology.com, and then the button there and you'll see part two coming up at 8.50. <laughs> that means we haven't got any break. 
so I'll let you off this time. So I'm going to have a two, three minute break then. Sorry about that. I wasn't keeping track of my time. So this is only because I think I have a friend who's picking me up early and I had to push the time back. So anyway, so I'm glad I checked. So I'll see you shortly, okay? Uh, give me just five minutes on that link. Thank you very much. Yeah, bye-bye.